What's going on guys? This is Dan from LimeRain.cc and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 5.0.1 fully untethered with Red Snow 0.9.10b1. The wait is finally over. For those of you who have an iPhone 4 or 3GS, the iPod Touch 3G or 4G, or the iPad 1, you could finally jailbreak iOS 5.0.1 fully untethered. This of course will still not work with the iPad 2 or iPhone 4S as they are A5 devices. Now if you are already jailbroken on iOS 5.0.1 with a tethered exploit, all you need to do is launch Cydia and install a patch called Corona which will untether the jailbreak for you. Anyway, if you have not already been jailbroken on iOS 5.0.1, there are a few things you need for Red Snow. The first is of course Red Snow. The second is your compatible iOS 5.0.1 device your USB to a third pin dock connector cable, and your Mac or Windows based computer. So the first thing you need to do is make sure your device is backed up and up to date on iOS 5.0.1. Go ahead and plug your device into iTunes and make sure it is on iOS 5.0.1. Once you have verified that it is, or updated it if it wasn't, right click on your device in iTunes, choose backup and iTunes will back it up. After the backup is complete, we can go ahead and quit iTunes and launch Red Snow. Go ahead and press the jailbreak button when it launches. After that, it's going to ask us to go into DFU mode. So in order to go into DFU mode, first you have to slide the power off your device. And then once that's done, you can go ahead and click next. Then hold the sleep button for three seconds. Then hold the home and sleep button for 10 seconds. Then release the sleep button, but continue to hold the home button for about 15 more seconds. After we are in successfully in DFU mode, go ahead and make sure the box that says Install Cydia is checked. After that, we can go ahead and click Next, and then the jailbreak exploit will start. Once the jailbreak exploit is complete, you will see you will have Cydia on your device, and if you power off your device and power it back on again, you will not need to boot via Red Snow, and Cydia will work perfectly. I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Dan from LimeRain.cc, and I will see you guys in the next video.